correct as acknowledgement error, CRC error and form error. Let's try to figure out answer to these questions in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Patta. This video is part of our course that is Introduction to AutoSAP. So without any further delay, let's get started. Well, let's move ahead and try to understand what exactly is CRC error. CRC is widely used in various communication protocols such as Ethernet, CAN, USB and so on to detect errors during the data transmission. It is important to note that CRC is an error detection technique and not an error correction technique. In short, it means that it can detect errors but it cannot automatically correct them. It involves adding a CRC value that is a fixed size checksum to the data before transmission. The receiving end can then use the CRC value to verify whether the data has been corrupted during the transmission. When the CRC error occurs, it means that the calculated CRC value at the receiving end does not match the CRC value appended to the received data. This discrepancy indicates that the data might have been altered or corrupted during its journey from the transmitter to the receiver. To sum it up, here is the CRC error detection process in steps. Before the data is transmitted, the transmitter calculates the CRC value based on the content of the data using a predetermined CRC polynomial. This CRC value is then appended to the data. At the receiving end, the data is received and the receiver also calculates the CRC value based on the received data using the same CRC polynomial. The calculated CRC value at the receiver is compared with the CRC value that was appended to the data. If the two values match or are exactly same, then it indicates that the data is likely error-free. However, if the CRC value does not match, then a CRC error is detected suggesting that the data might have been corrupted during the transmission. So this was all about the CRC error. Now let's move ahead and try to understand what exactly is acknowledgement error. Acknowledgement is an essential mechanism to ensure message reliability and successful data transmission between the nodes. When a node that is the transmitter sends a message to another node that is the receiver, it expects to receive an acknowledgement from the receiver confirming that the message was successfully received and processed. The acknowledgement message serves as confirmation that the data was received without any errors and the receiver is ready to receive the next message. If an acknowledgement error occurs, it means that the transmitting node did not receive the expected acknowledgement from the receiving node. Acknowledgement errors can happen due to various reasons and their handling depends on the communication protocol and the system design. Some common reasons for acknowledgement error are indicated here. The first reason could be bus of condition. In the CAM protocol, if a node experiences a certain number of transmission errors within a specific time frame, it might enter a bus of state. In this state, the node is disconnected from the network and it won't be able to send or receive message until the error condition is resolved. The second reason could be bus arbitration failure. In CAN, messages are prioritized based on their identifiers, and the node must follow a prioritized based arbitration mechanism to determine which node gets to transmit a message first. If two or more nodes attempt to transmit message simultaneously with the same priority, a bus arbitration failure occurs and none of the messages receive an acknowledgement. The third reason could be interference or noise. Like CRC errors, communication buses can be susceptible to electromagnetic interferences and noises which can lead to data corruption. If the message sent by the transmitter becomes corrupted and the receiver cannot interpret it correctly, it might not send an acknowledgement back to the transmitter. The last reason could be receiver malfunction. If the receiving node has malfunctioned or is not working correctly, it might not be able to process the incoming message and send the appropriate acknowledgement. So, this was a short detail about the acknowledgement error. Now, let's move ahead and try to understand about the last type of error handling that is form error. In CAN frame, some part of its message have a fixed format like the CRC delimiter, acknowledgement delimiter and end of frame. These CRC delimiter, acknowledgement delimiter and end of frame are fixed format fields always recessive for the resynchronization. Any violation in any of these fixed bits result to form error. That is, if any of the bits are dominant, then it results to a form error. We can say that this type of error is mainly used for the purpose of the frame check. The form error is considered one of the highest priority CAN protocol error types. So this was all about understanding the three types of error handling that is CRC error, acknowledgement error and form error. 
So in this video, we come to the conclusion with respect to the error handling mechanisms in CAN protocol. So we could discuss about all the five error handling mechanisms that is bit monitoring, bit stuffing, CRC error, acknowledgement error and form error. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries related to the video, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.